guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are new here and you know absolutely nothing about my ties to entrepreneurship, I've been working as a full-time self-employed YouTube creator since about early 2019. And definitely in the last three years, I've been on quite the roller coaster full of ups and downs. And I have definitely learned all of the good, the bad, the pretty and the ugly of entrepreneurship. And because so many of you guys who are subscribed to me and regularly watch my videos are also entrepreneurs, or aspiring entrepreneurs, I wanted to film this video and share with you guys some of the biggest pros and cons that I've taken away from my last three years as an entrepreneur. Just basically some of the bigger things that I've learned that I maybe wish I had known a lot earlier when I was first getting started. So definitely one of the bigger pros that really threw me off at first and something I really haven't gotten over all that much since then is really just all the time that I have gotten back and all the time that I now have on my hands and within my control. Because most of us are usually in school from about the age of five all the way to college graduation unless you're like me and have a massive burnout and mental breakdown and drop out of college. And with all those years and all that time that you spend in school in a classroom all day long, you really don't have all day every day to do whatever you want. And most often you also usually spend evenings and weekends working on assignments and homework and all of that stuff. And then most typically in post-grad, most college graduates end up getting their first job. And then again, Again, they work pretty much all day every day and then only have evenings and weekends to reset and come down from their work week. So definitely with being self-employed, not being on anybody else's schedule or time, and really just getting to work and stop working whenever I want to, that was just something that really really took me aback at first and something that almost like stunned me, kind of like I don't know what to do with myself. But I definitely have to constantly remind myself to not take it for granted and be super super grateful because it was not long ago enough for me to forget just how stressed I was not having any time to do anything that I want to. So definitely now being self-employed, having all the time in the world to do whatever I want to do with my time, that is definitely one pro I never take for granted and I'm super, super grateful for. Definitely one of the biggest pros of being self-employed as an entrepreneur. So then this next one, I initially put under the cons column, but the more I think about it, I think it's kind of both a pro and a con and also kind of an acquired skill in disguise. But that is the fact that as an entrepreneur, your salary, your income, your revenue, all of that is really, really unstructured and 100% dependent on you. You don't have any kind of an employer or somebody who is regularly paying out your salary bi-weekly or every month. You don't have any kind of a work schedule where X amount of hours you are scheduled to work equals X amount of a structured salary. So depending on exactly what kind of business it is you run or what kind of an entrepreneur you are, all of your revenue and your income, that is 100% dependent on how many sales you make or how many clients you're onboarding or how much content you are creating and monetizing. If you have any kinds of brand deals or sponsorships that you are being paid for. As a self-employed entrepreneur, you are solely responsible for how much money you're making, how you manage it, how you budget it, how you organize it, which at times can just be something really, really scary and that comes with a lot of anxiety. But again, as I said, it's kind of been an acquired skill in disguise where it's just taught me so much like financial responsibility. It's taught me really, really solid money habits. It's really forced me to diversify my income and stack my revenue streams. It's what initially got me into setting up passive income streams and making money in my sleep. So it's definitely a con in terms of you have nobody else to depend on for your money and your income. It's something you definitely have to manage all on your own, but it's also something that as an entrepreneur can really, really teach you a lot of new skills to take with you into your life as an adult. So I guess in some ways it's both a pro and a con. Then another pro that I found super, super exciting and really just kind of fun is just getting to meet so many like-minded people in the industry. Just like when you work in any other market or industry, you're going to be surrounded by other people who have the same interests and the same passions as you do. If for example, you work in the food industry, if you're some kind of a high-end chef or you own a restaurant, then you're gonna be surrounded by other people who are just as passionate as you are about the industry. If for example, you are are a musician, one of my high school friends is a professional cellist for our local orchestra, then obviously every day she works around other people who are just as passionate as she is about music. So similarly, working in the industry of entrepreneurship, working as a content creator, I have met so many other entrepreneurs and content creators, people who I can learn from, other people who understand my world and my passions, which honestly is just such a blessing because being any kind of a self-employed person, that can be really, really really lonely 
lonely sometimes and really kind of isolating, especially that in the last few years we've been stuck in a pandemic. So definitely having this industry and this community of other entrepreneurs and creators, that has definitely been one of the biggest blessings of being an entrepreneur and a creator and has just brought so many amazing people into my life and into my world. Now another con that I have personally experienced, that I've seen other people experience, that I have talked to people who have experienced, is the fact that it can so easily consume you when you are an entrepreneur, when you are wearing all the various hats in your business, when you're just taking on absolutely everything yourself. It is so, so easy to become completely and totally obsessed and let it consume you. I have had so many people comment on my videos and people post in my Facebook group where it's honestly not even a passion anymore or something they genuinely enjoy and they have just become straight up obsessed. And definitely as an entrepreneur, that can just happen so, so easily when you have all these like really big goals in mind that you're focused on that you really, really want to achieve and get to. Sometimes it's just so easy to completely lose sight of reality and become obsessed with it, which is why I've had to really, really work on my mindset and continuously remind myself that yes, this is your job. This is what you do full time, but this is something that initially began as a passion and still is my passion. So I just had to become a whole lot more conscious and a whole lot more mindful when I am working to make sure that it never again becomes an obsession and something that consumes me, especially working in social media where so many people are so obsessed with numbers and follower counts and views and likes. That is something that you can so easily become obsessed with and I never again want to be there. So it definitely can be a con just how easily you can become obsessed with it. But if you do remain super mindful and careful, it's something you can definitely combat as an entrepreneur. Now, another pro I don't see nearly enough people talking about is just how much entrepreneurs contribute to the economy and society as a whole. A lot, and I mean a lot of people, can be super, super critical of entrepreneurs and especially influencers and content creators. A lot of people that really just don't understand the industry or the job at all, people who tell you to get a real job. What I personally think a lot of those people don't really understand or see is just how many jobs and money have been created because of entrepreneurs and creators. I've seen so many post grads get jobs working for influencers and entrepreneurs, whether they start working for them as an assistant or a graphic designer or a video editor or a photographer. Honestly, I absolutely love that feeling when I am answering my emails, when I'm on a business call or Zoom, when I'm working on a brand deal or a sponsorship. Honestly, I just feel like such a businesswoman and a girl boss, knowing that you are contributing to the industry, that you're putting money in somebody's pocket, that you're helping to advance and succeed somebody else's career while also succeeding in your career, knowing that what you're doing is having such a big impact on so many other people and other parties, that is just such an amazing feeling. So that is definitely another pro that I have to consistently remind myself of and something that I take a lot of pride in. Now, one con I was definitely not prepared for when I first got started as an entrepreneur and especially a YouTube creator is how much money I was going to pay in taxes. Definitely being a six-figure earning content creator and entrepreneur definitely has a lot of pros and a lot of benefits, but because I'm making a lot more money than I would make in a traditional job, I also owe a lot more money on taxes. And as you guys know, I 110% believe in transparency in my videos and in my content. So for anybody who's curious how much money I pay in taxes every year, I would say that in the last three years I paid my taxes, it's been an average of about 10 to $15,000, which is absolutely 100% fair. I have always agreed with the whole concept of people who earn more also pay more in taxes because all that money goes back into things like our free healthcare here in Canada. So while it is a lot of money to pay every year, I am happy to do it because I love that I'm contributing to our society. But that is definitely something that really caught me off guard my first year actually paying taxes because I just wasn't really ready to be paying all that money. So that is definitely another thing I wish I had known about a lot earlier on. And finally, the last really, really big pro that I have definitely realized as an entrepreneur is really just all of the skills that I have learned and acquired and taken on. In the last three years that I've been an entrepreneur and full-time content creator, I have learned skills like how to use Photoshop and Lightroom. I have learned new skills as a video editor and photo editor. I've picked up so many new like marketing skills and business skills. I've also picked up skills like search engine optimization and video marketing. And I 110% believe that I am literally learning a new skill every single day in this industry. All of these skills and things I've learned are 
things I never went to school for, never got any kind of a degree in, things that I've just really kind of picked up on and learned in the last three years working for myself. And even if I were to completely stop doing YouTube tomorrow or next week or next year, these are all skills I'm taking with me in the future wherever I go and whatever I do. And I am definitely somebody who firmly believes that as an entrepreneur, you can never ever stop learning and there's always something new to be learned. So I am always keeping myself super, super open to learning new skills and picking up new trades, which has just made me all around a much more knowledgeable person and a much more skilled person. So that is definitely another really, really big pro to entrepreneurship and self-employment. But yeah, you guys, I think that is pretty much everything I had to cram into this video. Those are definitely all the biggest pros and cons I've learned about entrepreneurship and being a content creator. So if you are also an entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur, I hope something in this video was interesting or inspiring or helpful. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Love you all to the moon and back and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!